It's a queen of straight for Watson. And after that hand, Mike Watson has a commanding chip lead. Uh, I'm Michael Watson. I grew up here in St. John's, Newfoundland. Uh, right now, I reside in Toronto, and uh, I've been a professional poker player for about 10 years now. And Watson has queens. He raises. Uh, well, a lot of it started back here uh, in St. John's, actually. I was working uh, at the university, and uh, it was when poker started being on TV, you know, everyone had seen it. For a tournament player like me, I mean, my usual schedule is maybe half the year I'm at home, I'm playing, you know, some amount of hours online, depending, you know, how hard I feel like working at the time. And then the other, you know, five to six months a year, I'm probably on the road. So, you know, for me, that could mean Las Vegas, but it could mean Barcelona, Monte Carlo. Significant blow to Mike Watson. It's not a lot, you know, there's no guarantee that you're going to win one of those. Uh, probably, you know, over the course of the year, you've got one or two big final tables. Uh, if you're lucky, maybe you get a, a couple more. But, you know, you only sort of have a couple chances to get a big win, and it doesn't always materialize. Tough one for the Mad Dog. My first big win of my career actually was in 2008 in Las Vegas at the Bellagio. Colin. Oh, it's come ace, queen six, he's done it, man. Oh, they are singing in Canada right now for Sir Watts, Mike Watson. I won about 1.7 million US almost. And I mean, that was like a complete, you know, life-changing thing. It's a heart and that means it's over. Mike Watson wins the PCA 2016 main event. Okay. You know, the PCA that I won in the Bahamas, you know, was 700,000, a little bit over that, which is still a huge win. But uh, it was also, I mean, just as satisfying because it would probably been, you know, close to the eight years or something since I'd won like a big open main event like that, you know. And in terms of trying to do poker as like a serious hobby or as a profession, uh, you need to have a lot of self-control. You know, you need to know that you can take care of yourself, take care of your money and do all the things away from the table that lead to success. I think if you don't really have the personality type where you can do that, even if you do, you know, learn to play cards well and are a great card player, you stand a chance of losing it all. You know, there's a lot of really, uh, really unfortunate kind of horror stories out there of guys who can play cards but never had a dollar to their name, you know? Oh.